So how do we make money on an NFT? Okay. That's always the bottom line. We want to make some money. So why? What do we do? Digital? Is it a digital picture? Is it a digital video? I love it. I love it. Okay. So everybody thinks about NFTs as just digital art, right? right. And you're like, I don't get it. It's digital art. Who's going to pay $600,000 for <laughs> digital art? But what's so fascinating about NFTs is that there's so much versatility that people don't know about. Mm -hmm. So one of the versatility is it can have a lot of different uses. Mm -hmm. Digital art is one. Everybody loves art. Art mm -hmm. is super cool. But another is the community and utility that it provides. Mm -hmm. So for example, John mentioned you're a DJ. Mm -hmm. So music is something mm -hmm. where you can actually use an NFT as a ticket to a concert. Mm -hmm. Snoop Dogg in the metaverse right. is using NFTs to sell tickets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Memberships, so. Um, <clears throat> Wasn't the uh, Super Bowl? Weren't those tickets? Or last Was year? Was it something that way? Yeah. And, and the board and they, all became, they all became a, um, right. an NFT. Yeah, well, it's with the board so eight club, is that how? Right, so the Board Ape Club is an NFT, and why the I think the highest one sold for like almost seven hundred thousand oh. dollars. It's not just the picture, right? So there's obviously the you know street cred. I'm a celebrity. Right. I own a Board Ape, but it's also that it gets you into the yacht clubs. Mm. So now it's a it's a community based membership mm -hmm. where not only do you own the artwork, but it gets you utility. It gets yeah. you into a private club that nobody else can get into because you owe the special token. Now, can right. you do this like a, a, I'm not Snoop Dogg dog, <laughs> but if you're just an everyday person, are you able? How are you going to be able to make some money on the NFT? How can you Absolutely. get in? How, that's that's the thing so, you need to know. The most important part is that if you own crypto, you're ahead of the game because okay. you must own cryptocurrency to buy an NFT. Mm -hmm. You have you buy it on the blockchain. So Certain type of crypto or all? Well, well, you can convert Bitcoin, right? The biggest one I think a lot of people are using is Ethereum. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's how you can use your MetaMask account, your, your crypto wallet, yeah. and crypto is what buys you the NFT on the blockchain. Mm -hmm. So. What's great about it from a crypto world is that, especially while crypto's dipping, hold it and diversify it. Mm -hmm. So NFTs are a great way to diversify this investment. And it can be, it doesn't have to be hundreds of thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. There's so many NFTs with so many different purposes yeah. that you can use your crypto to start playing around. So are you guessing which NFT to get into? If you want an NFT, let's mm -hmm. say for $500. Mm -hmm. Are you just guessing that this may go or may not go? Or I mean, how how you how do you educate yourself on how to invest in a certain NFT? What separates that? I think it, it so many different ways, but one way I would say is if you're really into music or if you're really into a community. So, V Friends or Gary V is somebody who talks a lot about NFTs. His big thing is about community and bringing people together. So if you like that idea, that's a great place mm. to start. And you, he actually okay. just minted his second round of V Friends, and they're pretty cheap. Like you can get them for a few hundred dollars or a point few ETH. Yeah. Now, if you own one of those, don't you also get into like some of his like private meetings or like or mastermind groups or something like that? Mm. That's exactly yeah. it. So if you have a certain unique one, and that's why every yep. single token is unique. There's right. no two of the same. And they have different utilities. So some of them get yeah. you into conferences. Yeah. Others could get you into a private wine club. Right. There's actually the first NFT restaurant that's yes. going to be really. Yes. That. Yes. That's one of the ones I own. So, really? Oh, that's yes. awesome. Well, you gotta tell that's me about exciting. that. <laughs> so not financial advice, but what's it called? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean. Yeah. So it's called Fly Fish Club. It's going to okay. be the first NFT restaurant in New York City. Yeah. And really? so what they did was, and this is why NFTs can be so fascinating, you they mint it and the restaurant won't open for a whole nother year, but they give you so much value. So one of the things that I did as part of being a token holder is I went on a yacht in <clears> Miami <throat> and it said basically 50 people who own this token, hey, we're going to bring you to Miami and put you on this yacht with caviar awesome. to basically pump up the restaurant. All right. Yeah. Can we still get into this restaurant? Yes. They're really? selling them. So when right. also well, when you <laughs> I'm not talking right now. No to sell off. Get in a so fly fish so restaurant. Yeah. And can we go on the yacht? I think I I know Gary V, so, uh, so right. I'll pull well, some strings. Oh, wow, I got the right co-host. Oh, nice That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> now the person yeah. that mints the the <clears throat> NFT also gets residual like don't they end up getting like some monetary value every single time it's sold? 
You can. Okay. So that's one way. A lot of artists do that. Okay. So a lot of artists are really building their platform in the NFT community mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. minting and then saying to people who buy it, mm -hmm. hey, if you ever resell my art, and then you basically will have residual income yeah. from that. So this is why I say NFTs is so diverse yeah. and fascinating. I love that. Yep. And what you so I can take my Ethereum mm -hmm. and buy into that club. Yep. Done deal.